Digitalization doesn't just happen in air-conditioned buildings. It happens in the remote mountains of Norway, in the islands off the coast of Finland. It's happening underground, right beneath our feet. And Telia low-power wide area connectivity is making it possible to boldly go where no IoT has gone before. When the winter hits us, we have 25 meters per second wind. We have ice which can pile up to two meters around these navigation marks. In the spring, you need to launch a lot of boats out there to check that each navigation mark is in the correct position. And what we did to solve this problem that we had a solar powered tracker. So this is it. It's just a navigation mark. This has to always work, but it only has a small amount of data we need. That's why we're looking at the narrow band. This is a rat trap, and it's a rat trap killing rats, but in the sewer system. So here we see the rat trap uh, actually mounted in a plastic uh, manhole. We have an example from Copenhagen where we installed units, in, not in the cellar, but the second cellar, in the manhole, underneath the manhole cover, and still reaching fine signal with narrow and IoT. Today we have coal and gas uh, plants and we have nuclear and they're going to be replaced with wind and solar and other energy. If they don't manage it in the proper way, you get stranded energy. The solution is to digitize it and that we're doing with the sensors. We put this on the wire and then we collect the real-time, real data that the power grid owners need with neuron-to-neuron -neuron communication and narrowband IoT from Telia, we get a very solid, very robust communication infrastructure. And that is, of course, one of our competitive advantages.